Welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week, you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. All right, a connection that you don't think about is a USB to HDMI connection. Now, most people will use the USB port to plug in phones, cameras, printers, and other peripherals to power up or to download information between the devices. Hey, a big side note, if you're just reading the video text in the Exhibitor Lounge newsletter, I highly recommend that you open the video as there are a lot of illustrations to assist you in understanding this information. Okay, on a recent show, when confronted with a VGA to HDMI compatibility problem, like the one we discussed last week, an AV technician suggested that I pick up a J5 Create USB to HDMI adapter to solve the problem. I'd never heard of plugging in a monitor from a computer USB port. Having fears that I would not be able to find a VGA to HDMI active adapter at a local store, I went on the search for the USB to HDMI adapter. Well, I found one pretty easily in an electronic big box store. Now, the price was quite reasonable as they are between $45 and $70. Now, there are other brands, but the J5 Create is the one that the technician said I would find in the store, as he also got one recently. Now, when I got back to the show floor, the technician showed us how to install the driver that came with the adapter onto the computer. Once installed, the active adapter worked great. Okay, stay with me now. The information is going to get pretty intense. Right, the USB to HDMI active adapter basically works like an external graphics or video card as an interface between the computer and the monitor. Now, most computers will have a USB 2 or 3 Type A port. Now, this is the slender rectangular port. Now, the other type of USB port is the Type B port that you see more on printers and other peripheral devices. Now, when you purchase the USB to HDMI adapter, you may have your choice of a 2.0 or a 3.0 adapter. Now, the price difference is about $10 to $20 between the two. Now, the 3.0 Type A is much faster and will probably replace the 2.0 version completely in about four to five years from now. The 2.0 version is only about 450 megabytes per second, which is slow in today's standards. I mean, HD video requires about 750 megabytes per second. Therefore, it's not recommended to run video through a computer with only a 2.0 USB port, as the bandwidth is not enough for smooth playback. If your computer only has a 2.0 USB port, you should only run basic PowerPoint and other Office applications. Now, a 2.0 port will accept both a 2.0 adapter and a 3.0 adapter. Remember, the computer's USB port needs to be 3.0 to run video. Now, if you buy a 3.0 adapter, it will still not play HD video out of a 2.0 USB computer port, even though the physical plug will fit. The easiest way to tell if the port is 3.0 is the color. 3.0 cables and ports usually have a distinctive blue color. Another way to tell is the cable or port is stamped with the letter SS, which stands for super speed. Now, the best way to tell is to look inside the port for the extra five contact pads, which is a sure indicator. A USB 2 port has only four contact pads. A 
the USB 3 has nine contact pads. Now you can also get a USB to DVI, a USB to VGA, and you can add a passive adapter to USB to HDMI active adapter. Now this is on the HDMI side to create a USB to DVI converter. As always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. Hey, we'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, relax in the Exhibitor Lounge.